postseason game with as much hype around it. It almost feels like a playoff game, and it's only June. But of course, the guy everybody's talking about, new guy in town, Johnny Manziel, playing his first pro game in over two years. Who's on the field? Welcome to the Canadian Football League, Johnny Manziel. It's Johnny football time. The fans have been waiting for you. Hear that nice welcoming round of applause for the Ty Cats new quarterback. Some Browns jerseys. Texas A&M jerseys in the crowd too. 887 days since he last played serious football. Johnny Manziel takes the snap and throws and completes to Jalen Saunders. He's a quick hitter, Manziel. Not to overplay overstate the importance of one throw but been pretty comfortable back there you know everything they've done in Hamilton has been about putting him in the best possible position to be successful and I think even just the the scheme that he's in is something that plays to his strengths here's his biggest strength his feet rolling out another pass completed Felix Fulbert Lucier on second and short, and Johnny Manziel looks good. Three minute warning now, or is it? It is the warning before halftime. Johnny Manziel makes his first appearance in Canada. For two so far, off the sideline, and three for three, and once again, it's Fulbert Lucier making the grab, and the journey for Johnny Manziel has taken a few different turns, of course. Manziel at Texas A&M, first freshman ever to win the Heisman Trophy, and came so famous. He was really a phenom there. First round draft pick of the Cleveland Browns, but then some injury problems, two and six record, and a little bit of dysfunction away from the field as well. Yeah, I, I think there have been a lot of lessons learned for Johnny Manziel based simply on the mistakes he's made in the past. From the gun, Johnny's in trouble though. Manziel trying to escape and he's sacked on third down. So another turnover here induced by the Argos as Manziel had nowhere to go and tried to scamper out. So his first hard hit. But when you've been away from the game for a little while, the exception of his time in the spring league, Probably feels a little good to get hit again, too. Well, don't think for a moment the Argos haven't read the headlines, haven't watched television the last few years or social media. Talked to a few of them on the sideline today. They had the bullseye out on Johnny Manziel. Yeah, no question. That's going to come with the territory. Come the regular season, they're taking it to the Cats here tonight. So Johnny football comes back out. Perfect in the air so far, but has been sacked. Only 44 seconds to go before halftime. Funny thing is, 20 points all off turnovers, and as bad as it's been for the Cats, they're just a touchdown away from making it a one possession game. Two weeks away. Manziel sends them all out, but he fumbles the football and then slinging it out, and that was dropped. So there's the first incompletion. Manziel couldn't get that snap right, and then. Once he did swing it out, it was dropped by Harvey Binford. Down in 10. It's a rush as a penalty fly down. And another fumble football. Rashad Lawrence. And this is likely offside against Hamilton. Getting Johnny football. Climatized to the CFL way, final play. He will hand it off to Timmis. There's likely going to be one more.
Sale thought the half was over. Thought he was J.R. Smith there for a second. <laughs> Manziel's gonna run it out of bounds. So in the first half where we saw Johnny football come to Canada, we saw a lot of turned over football. Now Johnny Manziel a few years later, a few years older. Now in the CFL. Hoping to get back down south for a couple of years. Get his game back. Manziel going go, down, throws go. it up. And incomplete. At what he did yeah, with the Aggies. Yeah, red shirted his first year there in 2011. His coach would have been current Montreal Alouettes coach Mike Sherman. 2012, red shirt freshman, he won the Heisman. There you see the numbers over the course of his two seasons with the Aggies. Remarkable college career. Penalty flag down. Tossing it in and to win the Heisman Trophy. It'll be third down now. They'll hunt the ball away, but burst onto the scene and everybody was talking Johnny football. Win the Heisman Trophy. And he is not the first playing in the Canadian Football League. The first was Billy Vessels way back in 1952, and some have had success, some have not had success. And Johnny Rogers Heisman Trophy really changed the way the rules were at the time. And they say, keep him in the pocket. That's what they see right now, and he's going to have problems. Guys? Well, Matthew, Johnny Manziel gets another series. We'll see how much longer he'll go here. And this is what did you expect? What do you expect from Johnny Manziel here tonight? Well, in, in terms of what I did expect, it's about what we've seen. I mean, this is a guy who hasn't played football in a couple of years. I do think that there's a, a strong upside there for Johnny Manziel. But <laughs> listen, this isn't this isn't playground football. I mean, this is this is professional football. Was a pro with the Cleveland Browns. What he didn't do as well. The hype machine was there at that time. The hype machine is intensified coming to Canada, which is also, by the way, a very different game. I know it's football, and football is football, they say, but you've got to get used to it. And here it is again. This is a preseason game. Yeah, yeah. And, I, you know, I mean, he's getting to know his teammates. He's trying to learn the league, let alone opposing personnel and, and so on. Time out. Hamilton. I mean, you had to predict that his success was going to be somewhat limited. What I will say is that I do think, honestly, that Johnny Manziel is in being put in the best possible position to be successful. You got a coach in June Jones, a guy who tried to recruit him. Out of high school. Out of high school. He even told him he might, you know what, if, if it doesn't work as a quarterback, we, we can make you a slot back. You know, he kind of recognizes what he is and, and believes that this is a guy who's a very good fit for his system. You look at the, the way they've approached things through training camp. He wants Manziel to do the things that he's comfortable with and kind of pro progress at his own pace. Jim Jones, a head coach at the time at Southern Methodist University. And Johnny throws it in. You know, we're going even, even bigger picture than that and comparing the situation in Hamilton to false expectations. Whereas here you have a guy being put in a an offensive system that is better suited to the things that he does and that wasn't the case in Cleveland and I think with him coming in here and being humble he's going to get more support from his teammates than he was ever going to get given the way he was when he arrived in Cleveland. Manziel looking right now moves the pocket Johnny on the run here is going to have to throw it away and he throws it back towards midfield and completes the pass. And for a moment there, it looked like maybe Johnny Manziel was just going to have to eat it or throw it away. And in fact, make something out of nothing. Mar Altman. Yeah, a little bit of improv going off script. Definitely Manziel's comfort zone. Well, and that's why everybody 
who has followed Johnny Manziel and his skill set think that this is the game suited for him because of that wide field, because of the room out there and that extra man out there. All up to Johnny Manziel now. Veteran out of the University of Hawaii. He's not in camp. Here goes Manziel, and he's going to get taken down. Room to roam that time for Johnny Manziel. It'll be second down from the 33 and a half yard line. And Manziel punched some points on the board here for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, who are a long way back in this one. Four-man rush. Quickly delivers. And that is Hubert. Chris Hubert bringing that in. A nice effort there from the receiver. Chris Hubert, good body control. Redirecting his momentum. Stretch out and get that one. And Fayetteville, it will be third down. And Manziel shaking that arm. It looked like he got got hurt maybe. I, I, it might have been the play before that. He's kind of clutching it. We'll have to take a look back at the replays. Third down from the gun. He's going to throw Johnny Manziel, or will he go? He's going to have to throw it away, and it is complete. Again, Manziel with some improv. And once again, it's his release valve, Damar Altman. And nice job here for Manziel. Just drifting away, a little pump fake to slow down the defensive end, Cameron Walker, get him to settle his feet for a sec. By a little bit of time as he drifts away from the line of scrimmage. And well done by Altman working back towards the line of scrimmage to his quarterback while still. And Manziel and the Cats. Here comes the blitz. Manziel. Now he has to roll back and he will toss it way out of bounds. No snap. Look out. Manziel has to scramble now. And down he goes. And again, it's Tremaine Washington. Things, but, you know, had some completions, led a little bit of a drive right there. I don't know uh, if intentional grounding is different up here than it is back in the States, but that was frustrating. Um, just learning the game, feeling it out. It's, it was fun, though. I had a good time. In terms of where do you go from here, we all know how prepared you are. Looking at the film, how are you going to take and digest this game going into the next week of training camp? Yeah, just keep learning. You know, we got another game next week, another preseason game. You know, these games... For us, it's pretty much a glorified another day at practice. You know, we get to come out here, the fans get to come out. But, uh, you know, other than that, for us, what we're doing is what we've been doing in training camp. It's just another day in a bigger stadium, you know, against a different team. So, it's good. Look forward to next week. Look forward to this season. we got great guys on this team. I love my teammates. It's been fun to be here. And in terms of that, I see how much you're communicating. The value of communication for you, getting to know these guys and building those relationships. You guys are the best. You know, I have a lot of fun being here. They haven't done anything but welcome me with open arms from the second I walked into this locker room. Guys like Speedy, like Tony, like the leaders of this team have come in and embraced me. Jeremiah has been great for the quarterback room as well as VA and everybody else that we have. So, you know, I couldn't feel better with where I'm at um, team-wise. Um, and at my football career, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to make the most of it. And how good does it feel to wear pads again? It's all good. I feel great. Thanks, John. Thanks, buddy. You know, Johnny Manziel, 9 of 11 in his CFL debut. And again, it's in the preseason, so still stuff to work on. You've got to love what Johnny Manziel just said. If you're a CFL fan, if you're a Hamilton Tiger Cat fan, this is a guy who has certainly been humbled the last couple of seasons. But I think there is a guy was like a little boy again who just loves to play football yep. and maybe this is the best place right now for him yeah, I, I truly believe that I've, I've maintained that all along that if you know I mean if, if he is to succeed it's meant to be here and that that doesn't necessarily mean winning the starting job right away but you know, I mean, I, I think already there, you heard the first step that I think the game of football is certainly becoming fun again. There's Greg Morris, the former Saskatchewan Rough Rider, and a 2018 play. First taste of action in Canada for Johnny Manziel, and it's certainly not the last. We'll see more of him 
Johnny football 9 of 11. Jeremiah Masoli and the Cats. A lot of turnovers here tonight on this Friday night.